Hi, this is John Frenner from Caligo Marine. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, how we size uh, our Caligo duct standing rigging uh, for each application. Uh, there's four m main parameters that we look at. Um, number one is stretch. Number two is constructional elongation. Number three is strength. And number four is creep. Um, now, I want to talk a little bit about this here, but I have subsequent videos talking over each of those subjects about how, uh, how we do what we do and, and how we're successful at it. Um, now, what's important here is th this is a new material. Uh, it's, it's innovative, um, it's lightweight, it's super strong. Um, there, there's some great things about it. Uh, there's some limitations about it. And uh, since it's a new material, the, the most important thing is you've got to understand the parameters of it before you apply it to, to an application. Uh, like like standing rigging on a sailboat. It's not steel, it needs to be sized a little bit differently. So that's the number one item that we size it for is stretch. And to be honest, that's what you're worried about when you're sizing standing rigging. That's the main thing you're worried about because you don't want your mass to move. Yeah, you don't want it to break, but within that parameter, you don't want it to stretch either. You don't want the mass to move. That's going to cause you issues if the mass moves. So we size it based on stretch. And what I'm talking about is elastic stretch. That's like rubber band stretch. It, it moves, it stretches out, and then it comes back to its original position. That's elastic stretch. Um, and that, again, that's the number one thing we, we size it for. Um, the second thing is constructional, excuse me, constructional elongation because this is a braided line. So um, braided lines, uh, the strands aren't aligned with the load, so those strands want to... Uh, align themselves with load that translates into length, um, adding length to a piece of rope. Um, so you've got to be concerned about that. And there's a video on how we go about that. Um, and it, and it's, it's, it's no small thing. It's probably the number one challenge um, with, uh, with, with using a braided line uh, for this stuff. Uh, number three is strength. We always uh, take a look at strength. Um, it's almost always never an issue, 99.99% uh, .99 of the time, uh, because we size it for stretch. And Dyneema, uh, the stretch characteristics is such, if you do that, if you size it for stretch, uh, uh, for standing rigging on a sailboat, then your strength is always gonna be two to five times stronger than the steel application, whether it's uh, wire, die form, rod, uh, whatever. So, um, you know that's uh, it's just something that uh, the way it works out, and so what that means is you get a much uh, larger factor of safety. Normally, you'd have a three, four to one factor of safety for standing rigging, and that's going to move you up to eight to one or more, uh, oftentimes more than that for a factor of safety, which buys you uh, a window of opportunity for for changing the line out if you detect issues with it, um, if it gets fuzzy from chafe or, or whatever. Um, the fourth issue is creep. Now, creep is a material property, um, and it's often mistaken for what I just said, number three, constructional elongation. That is when a, a piece of braided line experiences constructional elongation, it'll elongate, um, and then it'll stop elongating once the, uh, once the strands become more aligned and, and become more dense and they can't compress anymore. So elongation stops. Creep is not something that stops. As long as the load is applied, you're always going to get creep. Creep is a material property. Um, it's uh, in its uh, cross-sectional area dependent, which means you can size the line for creep. You know, so there's some applications that we do that on. For instance, like diamond stays on a rotating mast, uh, high pretension, um, which is what we always use for sizing creep because that's what the the material sees most of the time. Uh, most sailboats, 80, 85, 90, 95, even more than that uh, percentage of the time, it's going to see just the pretension that's put on that. So um, we have creep equations, um, so we do size for that. Uh, to be honest, most of the time it's not a big deal if it's sized correctly for stretch in the first place. You know, so th those are basically the uh, the four parameters that we look at when uh, when sizing our Clico duct standing rigging. Look for some more specific videos on those four topics um, on our channel. Thanks.